What's going on guys? Welcome to my Battlefield 4 Gunlocker series, a series where I give you my reviews and analysis of all the Battlefield 4 weaponry. Today, once again, we're going to revisit the support class. We're going to talk about the final unlock in that class, the MG4. Now, I chose to review this one before the M249 Saw because you unlock this one organically through the normal game modes of multiplayer, where with the Saw you have to play the single player and choose the proper ending to unlock that one. I will be covering that one later. But today, let's just talk right about the pros in MG4. Basically, it has the fastest fire rate of all the support weapons at 800 rounds per minute. This equals the saw. It is the most you can get in the in the light machine guns. Obviously, some of the carbines and PDWs will go higher. Uh, but as far as for the assault class, um, assault class, the support class, and the LMGs, this is the ceiling for your rate of fire. Large belt-fed magazine of 200 rounds. So you combine that 800 rounds per minute rate of fire with a big box of bullets, and you can really just hose a hallway down with some rounds and really block off the enemy. Recoil is more predictable in this it has a pretty balanced recoil to the up and to the right uh to the left a little bit it's a little less than the saw basically the difference between the two and i'm going to get more into this as i do the saw review it's really going to be a matter of personal preference how you handle weapons what you're you know how capable you are to compensate for recoil but the recoil on this one is a little more predictable it's a little more up and to the right um it's, it's it doesn't bounce around quite as much as the saw but uh it's got a pretty negligible recoil that can be compensated for but i don't actually think that's necessary short quick burst can take down snipers at long range with this weapon you feel kind of dirty i can't tell you how many times i've done this let's say on flood zone and i'm shooting across you guys know you're shooting across the road be a domination or conquest or, or any mode really and you know how the snipers like to get up on the roofs over there i will get down even in the top floor shooting out of a window up at them and i would just pick off headshots for days really kind of microburst will take them down it's pretty amazing actually uh, the large magazine is also great for keeping enemies heads down and suppressed you got 200 rounds of fire quick little burst keep them suppressed keep them disoriented keep their heads down and let your teammates go and clean them up that is how you should be playing a support that is the role of support <laughs> i don't see enough people doing this you don't fire always for a kill you sometimes fire for effect this gun is built for it with the large magazine and the high fire rate some cons uh with the long reload obviously with the belt fed magazine it's going to be really long uh but you know what you're playing with a LMG, belt fed, large magazine, that's okay. It's not really that bad. If you're playing normal circumstances, you're not opening it wide open, you can go a really long time before you have to reload and then just be smart about it, find a secure place and reload there. Movement accuracy penalty is pretty rough. If you're trying to strafe or move while firing this weapon, either ADS or from the hip, doesn't matter, it is pretty terrible. You literally will see a spiral of bullets. It feels like a four foot radius. It is very, very hard. Now there is a little bit of a glitch. It seems that if you ADS and start to fire like before you stop moving, it will carry on the penalty even if you're standing there still. So keep that in mind. Play around a little bit with this weapon or all weapons on the firing range, perhaps a little bit to get a feel for that. Plant yourself, ADS, fire, and you're going to have really, really good accuracy with this weapon. This weapon also, along with all LMGs, has pretty bad hip fire, so only turn to hip fire in absolute emergencies. You're going to find yourself pulling up the sights a lot more than you felt like you did in Battlefield 3, but that's kind of the nature of Battlefield 4 right now. Hip fire is not as effective across the board in Battlefield 4. Now let's talk for a second about my recommended usage for the MG4. Basically this weapon, like most LMGs, will work really well in a defensive or stationary stance. Not quite as good as the PKP Pechenegg, but that's not because the MG4 isn't effective. That's just because I feel like the Pechenegg is a monster in a defensive role, confined areas, you know, as I've previously reviewed. But the MG4 will absolutely fill the role and you will be very, very effective. It will also work in a more aggressive stance where I didn't recommend the Pechenegg for this pr primarily because of the rate of fire. With the high rate of fire of 800 rounds per minute and the large magazine, you can be very, very effective roaming the map. Don't go crazy. Again, you don't really have the hip fire to be very effective. So you still play cautious, but you can be much more aggressive. You can put some pressure on the enemy and you can get up in their faces a little more with this weapon. I just want to mention once again, try to remain stationary as much as possible with any LMG, but particularly the MG4 and the 249 with the high rate of fire. You can quickly lose control of this weapon, especially if you're using that mobility penalty on your accuracy. It can get pretty ugly, so make sure you plant your feet fire whenever you can. Now let's talk about my recommended setup for the MG4. First, we're going to lead off with the ho hollow scope as an optic. I love the hollow scopes or Cobra Sight would work as well. I like the more robust reticle when using my LMGs because when you're firing a lot and you're opening them up in the muzzle flash, you, you tend to be in the, in the chaos. And I like to have the little more just visual uh, reticle in front of me. If I use like a coyote or a red dot sight, that little red dot can oftentimes get lost in just the craziness, explosions, flashlights, <laughs> all kinds of things that you know happen on your screen. When I'm there, I want to hold my ground, I want to open that baby up and fire as much as I can, take down as many enemies as I can, 
oftentimes helps having that hollow scope reticle or in this case cobra sight if you prefer uh, i don't have a problem with the red light sight as long as you can kind of you can keep track of where it is as for the barrel, once again, I'm going to recommend the suppressor. It's great for defensive and offensive play. It keeps you off the minimap. That's a huge advantage once again. I don't really think the compensator is very needed. Um, the horizontal recoil, like I said, is fairly predictable to the right. And the vertical recoil, while, while it's significant, it's not that bad to compensate. And I don't want you to take any more of an accuracy hit by using one of those attachments. The, the suppressor is going to be really good. Keeps you off the minimap. Allows you to hold your position if you're playing defensively a little longer. And allows you to sneak up behind people and get those epic four or five man feeds. Uh, if you're playing more aggressively as for the under barrel once again I'm going to recommend the stubby grip potato grip. Uh, this actually accentuates your automatic fire lessens the penalty on automatic fire And let's face it you're using an LMG for a reason well, I don't recommend you running around and just spraying bullets everywhere automatic uh, You are going to want to do that and when you do that you want to get the full effect of that uh, rate of fire you have with 200 rounds in the magazine, 800 rounds per minute, when you open that thing up, you want it to be on target. If it is on target, it's going to saw people in half. It's as simple as that. As for the accessory, always the laser light combo is a great great pick for this category. Uh, it allows you to kind of use the blind people as you can, especially if you're holding a position, which is really good. And lasers for hip fire, again, I don't really recommend it, but any kind of help you can get along the way there is really good as well. The magnifier, of course, as I mentioned, this weapon can take down snipers. It is a pretty good option. You can use it. I don't tend to like it. I feel like it obscures some of my vision. Even when I have it down off the on the hip, kind of, I just feel it's in my way a little bit. It makes me uncomfortable. If you are going to go with the magnifier, you might want to think about pairing that with a bipod. Again, playing a little more stationary, you can quickly pick off snipers. You can be the sniper's bane on the map. You're going to drive them crazy. Even if you don't kill them, you're going to hurt them, get hit markers, suppress them. You would keep their heads down and drive them crazy because we all know that they like to just sit up there and prey on people as they're not paying attention. In summary, the MG4 is a monster. It really is a great weapon. It's a really good LMG. It's a great weapon overall. Uh, you have to play a little bit differently. Like I said, uh, support class is not one you can just jump into, slide into, and run and keep running gunning like you were with the assault or medic class uh, and uh, engineer. You really kind of have to play it a little bit differently, but if you're capable of doing that, with this weapon, you are going to be a menace on the battlefield, that is for sure. High fire rate, high magazine, predictable recoil, and good, pretty good damage model. This weapon is absolutely up there and one of my favorite weapons in the game. Like always, guys, let me know what you think down in the comments. I'd love to hear your feedback, maybe your, your weapon loadout. Like always, guys, thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it. Let me know you're enjoying the series with a like, and I will talk to you soon, guys. Take care.